I'm back with another Divi 5 progress update. If you aren't familiar with Divi 5, check out the links in the video description. To put it briefly, we are recreating the builder in Divi 5 from the ground up, focusing on performance, stability, scalability, and extendability. It won't come with many new features, but it will be way faster and more capable, and it will give our team and the community the tools we need to hit the ground running with fantastic new features and modules. Last month, I gave a demo of the Divi 5 Visual Builder to showcase its lightning fast speed. So if you missed that video, be sure to check it out. There's a link in the video description. We made a lot of progress this month. If you want to read through the finer details, swing by the blog post where I published the full change log. We are nearing the launch of Divi 5 Dev Beta, the next phase in the Divi 5 Beta program. And I hope to announce its release in my next update. While on the home stretch, we remain focused on simplifying the module creation process so that creators from the community and our team can build Divi 5 modules more quickly. The work we put in during this phase will pay dividends in the preceding phases, with the ultimate goal being to get your hands on Divi 5 sooner. One of the most essential aspects of Divi 5 is its extendability. When I talk about extendability, I'm talking about Divi 5 being nimble and capable from an API perspective and the many unique features we can create thanks to those improvements. I've also spoken about Divi 5 aligning with the future of WordPress, removing shortcodes and integrating many of the WordPress block packages into Divi 5. I asked the manager of our dev team to find a little free time to whip up a quick demo that illustrates these aspects so that I could share something fun in this update that is visually representative of Divi 5's extendability. He came up with the automatic block module, a module that turns every Gutenberg block into a Divi module, supercharging them with Divi's wide range of design settings and allowing you to mix modules and blocks on the same page. The block module grabs HTML elements from the block and dynamically generates option groups that give you complete control over its design. You can also generate new option groups on the fly, targeting and customizing every element. While we created this block module for fun and it's neither finished nor polished, it is a wonderful demonstration of what we can do with Divi 5 and with relative ease, thanks to the new foundation we are creating. Not only is it easy for us, but for you and the development community too, due to the open nature of the API. We may even finish up this block module and add it to Divi 5 as an official feature, but for now, we remain focused on progressing through the beta phases. That wraps up this month's Divi 5 update. In other news, our first version of Divi AI is nearly finished, which will allow you to generate extraordinary images out of thin air and write and improve content with AI while you work in the Visual Builder. I've been having a lot of fun playing with the unfinished version, so I'll close out this video with a time lapse of me testing out some of its features. I hope you find it as exciting as I do, and I'll catch you in the next update.